The Cirque of Towers is a semicircle of towering granite cliffs recently viewed. Now, the Cirque Traverse is a traverse of this cirque. It's located in Wyoming, it's in the Wind River Range. It's this awesome circle of peaks. There's 11 peaks total. It's darn near impossible to get 11 summits in one photo, but here we've got eight of them. Starting from right going left, we've got Pingora, then Tiger Tower, which doesn't count, it's not necessary. And then we've got Wolf's Head, Overhanging Tower, Shark's Nose, which has two summits, a north and a south. Apparently the south one counts, the north one apparently is not as tall. And then we've got Block Tower, Watch Tower, South Watch Tower, and Pylon Peak. And then there's three freaking more. We've got Warrior 2, Warrior 1, and War Bonnet. Now, I'm something of a climber myself, <laughs> so I thought... I'll give this Cirque Traverse a try. So we got some PTO and we made a plan. We're gonna drive 17 hours in on Saturday, hike in on Sunday, do a rest slash tune-up day on Monday, and then freaking go for it. Now the car ride went smooth. Nothing went wrong with my vehicle whatsoever and we made it in pretty good time. It might have a little bit of a release. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a lot, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you want the hike in started off with an explosive start, but it only went downhill from here. Well, should I say it only went uphill from here. 1,800 feet of uphill, in fact. And it freaking rained on us. It was pouring. It was freezing. Our group got split up. Morale started off on a record low. But we went to bed happy knowing that the next day would be Bluebird and we'd be able to sleep in and we'd just have a cruiser day doing cake racks on Pingora. guys have you looked outside yeah it's crazy what yeah what oh no <laughs> oh no good morning gangsters hey who's that what do you think come here to my side. what are you doing bro what up? Grand, my side. okay okay <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew you were vlogging. <laughs> I'm not vlogging, bro. I'm just checking everybody's What's vibes up? out. You look sexy, bro. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I love it. The, the black lycra. <laughs> What's going on in here? Inspiring. Oh, uh, we've been knocking tent or snow off all morning. Yeah. Do we have a pretty good pile around us? I feel like we do. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> They're awake. Yo. <laughs> Oh, you look no. nice. Freaking my! Nice. I woke up and my trekking poles are like bent, like, like they're like oh. this. They're carbon, so they're fine. They're straight. Now, but I was like, what the? <laughs> I mean, look. Four season tent. My Punch your tent. Winter ascent, can we claim it? <laughs> don't ever say that again. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All right, so we are now in Eldo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't really work out. Just kidding, just kidding. Back to the winds, back to the winds. Bro, <laughs> are you warm? John asked if I brought gloves. I said, sir, I'm digging my tent out of the snow and flip-flops. No, I don't have freaking gloves. Do you have the R1 thummies? Oh, there you go. Dude, that's basically gloves. <laughs> Wanna go make coffee? Yeah. <laughs> this will be today's view and maybe tomorrow's view. And then we'll start climbing. Our tune-up day ended up just being a rest day, but that's okay. I've got this awesome topo and an awesome 
ease of access topo, and then we went to bed early and woke up even earlier to do the traverse. On the hike in, there were some headlamps pretty far behind us, and every time I turned around, they were closer and closer and closer. Eventually, they met us at the first pitch of the east buttress of Pingora, which was pretty funny because we didn't really know where to start climbing, so thankfully, they showed up. Now, the east buttress of Pingora has a very popular route called K-Cracks, which is what they did. However, since I was linking all four pitches of this route in one and was getting low on gear and didn't want to slow down, I went ahead and did, and I didn't want to do 5.8. <laughs> So I did the 5-6 finish of the East Buttress, which was cool. And at 6.22 a.m., we ticked our first summit of the Traverse, the summit of Pingora. So we got to go down somewhere. After four pretty sketchy wraps, we made it to the base of Tiger Tower. Tiger. People said, we think we're going to go like that. So we heard that if you do Tiger Tower, you have to do two more repels, and we did not want to do as many more repels than we have to, which you'll find out to be pretty ironic. So we went around Tiger Tower via this band of rock, which we ended up placing a few pieces of gear on some sketchy spots, but it ended up being pretty fast, except for at the end where we couldn't figure out how to get back on to Wolf's Head, so we did a real rock pitch and then got moving again. We've got... Oops. We've got Lane... Got Graham there on the sidewalk. They had to do some route finding to get up on the sidewalk after doing a little bit of a weird situation with Tiger Tower. They're making good time. Yep. We'll be pretty much done with all the vert. And then we'll go across. Overhang tower, shark's nose block. Thank you. They already did this. 8.30 on the east ridge of Wolf's Head. High altitude. Just at the Wolf's Head sidewalk. Did Pangora this morning. We're like an eighth of the way there. Now, Wolf's Head was freaking awesome. It was definitely worthy of being a top 50 classic climb. We pretty much pitched out the whole thing and some long pitches, which was inefficient and ended up killing a good amount of time. Also, we got off route here and we ended up making it to the summit at 10.49 a.m. Pretty late. We did four stainless steel bolted repels off of Wolf's Head. It was amazing and even better, we got phone service. So we did what any horrible alpinist would do. We called home and that really took the edge off. Uh, but we need the edge to finish this traverse. Four wraps down Wolf's Head and now we get to scramble to overhanging tower. It's supposed to be fourth class or 5-2. And then shark's nose block tower, watch tower, south watch tower, pylon feet. New topo of the route just dropped. So we've got overhanging tower here, which should be 5-2 or fourth class with three repels. And then we've got shark's nose, which should be 5-6 with, we don't know, we think it's going to be four repels. And then block tower should be fourth class with a 5-5 five five at the end. And then to get onto watch tower, there's this absolutely dreaded goalie that we heard is the scariest, dangerous, or worst part of the traverse. And with the snow in the back of our minds, we're wondering, is this third class goalie just going to be a giant snowshoe. Hey Graham, just we're about to top out overhang tower. The view is insane. There's shark's tooth. I don't see how you get up there, but we're going all the way over there and then back down. Overhangy. Wow. 
Cam's down there. We summited Overhanging Tower at 12.50 p.m. After a couple wraps, we were sitting at the base of Shark's Nose on the north side. This spot was completely shaded and littered with little bits of snow and little bits of black ice, and it provided a pretty engaging challenge to the top. Just wrapped on that. And now we are open up for Shark's Nose. So we are one pitch from the top of the north summit of Shark's nose okay, Gotta go. well i turned the gopro on and completely forgot to film <laughs> so i haven't gotten any footage all day but i'm on the summit that's the north summit <coughs> of shark's nose that's the south over there i don't know where we're going after this actually i don't know We'll play it, we'll talk about it. Wow, spooky. It sure looks higher than the south summit. Now we knew at the top of Shark's Nose, there was a north summit and a south summit. And between the two is a 5-8 crux move, which would be the hardest move of the traverse. The, uh, this slab looks chill, just exposed. And yeah, I can't tell where this wrap goes. So. All right. Be with me, my friend. Drink. What? Get a piece, please. Oh, shoot. Sorry. What? How's it down? It's fine.
pretty juggy so far. Did you pull it? No, I'm at the base. I just got the seven or the point five. For the like ridge traverse, I like I went on the west side of the wall and just like hand traverse with good feet. I didn't catch a word of that. It was all in the wind. please and I'm gonna place a piece for you after the crux I, love it. I didn't even use the crack there's like a, a face jug kind of I found some good face holds and I jumped into the good foot we heard a happy scream that sounded like a grand Yeah, I just pulled the 5.8 on the shark's nose traverse. Nice, that was my guess. Good job. We're probably going to try to bail off the coal between shark's nose and block tower if you want to do some research for us. You're planning on doing that? And you want us to look into it? Just make sure you said that? Yes, sir. We're just gonna pay out a bunch. I just pulled the crux, We're somewhere right about there. Way up there. Yeah. And there I am, that teeny tiny little dot on top of the south summit of Shark's Nose. And it is now 4.47 p.m. We spent a huge chunk of our time on Shark's Nose. Now we got off route, or we thought we were off route. We debated what we were doing here. So it took a lot of time, but finally got to the true summit. For the descent, we thought that there would be three wraps to get down. And there were, except for the third wrap. It took us about an hour extra. See, the ropes went over the edge and got stuck in a crack. We couldn't pull the ropes up or down. So I had to wrap down, unfix them and then jug back up. Jugging on two strands is so horrible, so not fun. And that took at least an hour of our time. 
So now the sun is setting. We're looking at Block Tower, which has snow, and, and it looks easy, but what, the goalie's after that. What's the goalie looking like? So I don't know. What are we going to do? Morale is fading quick. But I remembered whenever I was rappelling to unstuck our ropes off the third rappel, I saw another <laughs> rappel station in between Block Tower and Shark's Nose. And I couldn't see anything after that, but it looked like potentially it went downhill. So we radioed our buddies across the way and said, hey, can we bail in between Shark's Nose and Block Tower? They said, it looks like a thousand plus foot vertical cliff maybe you could get down the watchtower block tower goalie um, and so we debated and for whatever reason we decided to on site a thousand foot of tat repels that we only knew one was there thus officially throwing in the towel for our cirque traverse attempt it is seven o'clock and we are on our one we're about to start a third wrap off of the south face of sharks nose and if you've never heard of wrapping off the south face of sharks nose all the way to the ground it's because nobody does it but we're gonna figure it out and we keep finding tats so it's all good we bailed because it's seven and our head game expired and it's scary and we're tired well, i mean why would you think i bailed that's the reason the weather's perfect though we had a blast next wrap is over there so we gotta scramble Overhanging tower looks crazy. Shark's nose. Uh, you might have heard of that one. I think all seven of our friends summited Pingora today. We may be survived. We're gonna call that the Care Bear <laughs> Traverse of the Winds. Or the Brown Bear, oh no, the Black Bear Traverse. Or the Pika Traverse. Oh, the hardest lane to ever been traversed. <laughs>